ready now, ready now. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fall back. No, no. Water, I took it on, took it on, took it on me. Mm -hmm. Water, I ever ask, ever ask, where you gonna, where you gonna be my lover? Tonight, take it with, take it with, take it with me. Mm -hmm. Put me first, don't need me no sense. So this is Sassy. Uh, she's got a little attitude that we're working through, um, but she's very talented. She's got a nice flat walk and running walk. She can also fox trot. She's on the trotty side. She hasn't been canter in the arena. That's what I was working on. I don't know if you can see it, but she kicked out a couple times when we were going to the left, and I got after her once, and then I just kept going. Um, so we're going to do the turn on the forehand. getting better at it. And then we're going to do the turn on the haunch. That means moving their shoulders. So this gets tricky if you do it after a turn on the forehand. They get a little confused. So it's good to have a stick in your hand to tap them on the shoulder. And then when they move their shoulders to stop, you're going to open your right rein, left rein goes against their neck, and then use your left leg right at the girth. 
look where you want to go. See how she's pulling and moving her hind quarter. There we go. So I haven't done this away from the fence. And she's tired, so she's giving some attitude. But sometimes this is how it starts. It's really bad. You might as well see it. Good girl. Good job. So she's one that's smart enough. She figures stuff out, knows how to do it, and then she just goes, no, nah, I'm not doing it for you. But she's got the way with some stuff, and she's 17 years old. And what do you know? See, that was kind of perfect right there, wasn't it? But she was hoping I would give up when she started having her hissy fit. Good girl. Good job. So the hard part is not getting in a huge fight with them, but not giving up. And then, you know, making them do it when they're stubborn. And then once they do, then reward them with rest. So when you do the turn on the forehand, whichever leg you're using, so now I'm gonna push her off my right leg, it's best to have that stick in your right hand and tap them on the shoulder if they don't move their shoulders over. to the left she's much better which most horses are so again I'm just pushing her shoulders over and when I'm doing it off my right leg the left rein opens up right rein against her neck then my right leg and then I tap her with the stick if she doesn't do it good girl so now I'm going to walk for a minute and I'm going to come back and do the side pass so she didn't know how to do any of this stuff it hasn't even been a month yet so she's doing really well and she hated being ridden in the arena and she would plant her feet and not go which she's not doing anymore. Okay, so she was really bad off the right, so we're gonna do the right first. So open your reins, press with your right leg. Now, good girl. She's pulling, but that's pretty good for her. You didn't see what she did before. <laughs> Sometimes they get confused and they go the same direction. So now I'm going to push her off my left leg. See how she's not going? So I'm going to spin her around. And then push her off my left leg. Go girl. So again, she knows how to do it. She's just like, no, I did it to the right. I'm not going to do it to the left. So you don't want to give up. And you keep pushing with your aids, the leg and the rein, until they give you the right answer. It's hard because they can rear up, they can kick out, and they do all sorts of stuff. Then you release, then the horse learns to do that. Okay, so off the left leg. So I tapped her because she stuck her butt out. What do you know? Now she all of a sudden side pass to the left. Good girl. Uh -uh. So she's a smart girl, but she's a stubborn girl. Good girl. Okay, let's try it again. Girl. Ah, ah, ah. I know sometimes she can't hear me from there. So when Sassy came, she used to just plant her feet and not go in the arena. And I had to get after her pretty bad to get her to go. And now she's doing much better in here. She doesn't plant her feet. Now she thinks she knows 
what to do. And she's like, I'm so smart, I know the routine. And then she tries to start doing the next part on her own. And I'm like, no, you just gotta wait it out. So getting much better. She's on the trotty side. So she has a nice flat walk and a nice running walk. If I ride her with too much contact to kind of frame her up, uh, then she gets more on the trotty side and go more towards the fox trot. So a lot of times I just let her go with her head and kind of nose it out because her gait's actually better then. So again, with the trotty ones, you want to sit kind of neutral or back a little bit. You want to make sure you don't lean forward or you'll make them go more on the trotty side. And if you frame them up too much, you'll make them go more on the trotty side. Um, with her turn on the forehand, it's pretty good, but she'll only do it so many times. So I put the camera on and then it wasn't as good. But when I do the turn on the forehand, I always tap them behind my leg that's pushing them over. So if you're pushing and it's taking a while, I'll give them a little tap like, hey, come on, let's get better. So you're always trying to get them just a little bit better each time and not accept mediocre. You accept the try in the beginning, but each time it should get better and better, not worse or not staying the same. Unless they're perfect, then of course stay the same. With the turn on the haunches, I tap them on the shoulder because I want the shoulders to move and I keep my leg right at the girth. With the turn on the forehand, I bring my leg back a couple of inches behind the girth so they know when to move their hindquarter and they know when to move their shoulders. When I'm asking them to side pass, I just have it just a couple of inches behind the girth and then I'm looking straight ahead. Remember, your eyes tell them where you wanna go. So with the turn on the forehand and haunches, I'm always looking the direction I want to go. With the side pass, I'm just looking straight ahead. Uh, she didn't canter in the arena. She doesn't canter on the trail. So I, she could canter while on the lunge line, so I knew she could canter. So I'm starting to canter her in here. This was just her second day, so overall she did well. And then if you watch her video on trail, you'll see I tried it out there, but she just fox trotted. So in time, we'll get it. And to the left, she's kicking out some, which I don't know if the video caught. Um, and I got after her the one time and then after that when she kicked out a little bit I just was like, I don't care. We're just gonna keep going So I just kept cantering and I didn't stop cantering until she was cantering nicely. That's when I stopped I never stop when they're doing something bad if I do I'm either spinning them around or giving them something worse to do to associate that bad behavior with something now um, If you think something's wrong with them say you're cantering them and they keep kicking out and stuff I always watch them when they're loose so I can see if they can hold lead with their back end. If they can hold it loose with their back end, again, your weight on them is more difficult, but then they, it's usually a horse that might be screwing around a little bit. But remember with these uh, gated horses, some of them that are lateral, they will hop their lead in the back. They do a little bunny hop and then they'll cross canter. You're not done yet, Seth. So sometimes it's that you don't want to punish them for that if they're losing their balance but if they're leaping up in the air and kicking way out that's not them just changing their lead. that's them being bad and telling you i don't want to do it i'm trying to scare you and you're just like i'm not scared now i'm just gonna make you go twice as long and then they usually get better so that's sassy she's doing well again she's an older horse she wasn't ridden in the arena she was just ridden on the trail with other horses and now i'm riding her in the arena and i'm taking her out by herself and overall even though she has this little attitude i think she's a very nice horse i think she's going to be great it's just getting her a little bit better work ethic getting her uh, better conditioned to do these things and uh, not giving up when she's saying no